In this video, I'm going to talk about a feature within Microsoft Edge browser named as mouse gestures. Now, before we even uh, understand about the functionality, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to open an, another application called as Power Toys. So here, what I've done is within Power Toys, I have enabled some of the mouse functionality. Now, this is not a prerequisite. This is just I'm showing you how to uh, view the mouse because I'll be just moving the mouse in this mouse gesture video. And I want you to really uh, see what I'm doing. So what I've done is like I have just um, configured the uh, mouse settings. So if I click on the mouse, you, you see this highlight, it will happen like this. So this is happening because I have uh, used Power Toys tool functionality. Okay, so to understand the functionality in Microsoft Edge, that's a mouse gesture feature. Now, what is a mouse gesture feature? It's like with the help of mouse, you will be able to execute various commands in Microsoft Edge. Now, think about a scenario. Say, take for example, if you do not want to use keyboard or maybe if your mouse does not have a scrolling pin or maybe if you're, you do not have an advanced mouse or if just for fun's sake, if you want to use this functionality, you can go ahead and use this functionality for uh, available within Microsoft Edge. Now, let's first configure Microsoft Edge functionality. So you need to go into settings. So here, if you go into navigate to settings and if you start typing mouse, then you will see a feature called as mouse gesture. Under mouse gesture, you can enable the mouse gesture. So I'll just enable it and configure mouse gesture. Now, if I click here, I will see various actions, configure actions of gesture. So left, right, up, down, and so on and so forth. So let's try all this command one by one, what it does. So now the mouse gesture is enabled. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open my website. Okay, and I'll open my website in another tab as well. And maybe I'll navigate to some link and I'll navigate to a couple of links. Okay, so what I've done is like I have opened two tabs over here. Okay, now I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna hold the right click button of the mouse and I'll just move towards the pointer towards the left hand side. So I'm just holding the mouse button go back now if i release it then it will actually navigate to the previous page now as there were no previous page it went to the microsoft search bar now here there is a previous page so if i just hold the mouse and then hold the mouse means i hold the mouse right click okay just press that right button and then move towards the left it will go back again go back again go back now similarly if you want to go forward hold the mouse button and then go forward move your mouse to the right by holding the mouse right click button see now it is moving to the right so it is moving to the right moving to the left, moving to the left, goes back, moving to the left. So as you see over here, when I move it, you see an indicator over here, which says forward, forward. So it is moving from left to right. So that's a couple of actions which we have seen. Now let's do something called as scrolling down. So if you see this here, now if you want to scroll down, what are you gonna do? You're gonna just use the scroll bar and then move like this, right? Now, instead of that, hold the mouse button and then just scroll down, scroll down. So from top to bottom, top to bottom. So we are scrolling down now. Let's go up. So from bottom to top, bottom to top, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, and then scroll down and then scroll down. So we have seen couple of actions now scrolling up scrolling down right so let me again go back to my website and let me open a couple of website as well okay so so we have seen left right which left goes go back right is forward up scrolls up down scrolls down 
Now let's close this tab. Now if I want to close this tab, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here. If I have so many tabs opened, then it will be kind of a nightmare to close all the tab one by one. So what I'm going to do with this mouse command, I can go down and then go right. So down, right, close the tab, down, right, down, right, down, right. So it closes all the tab, right? Again, I'll show you. Down, right, down, right, down, right, down, right. So this is how you close the tab. Let me open the website again. Then how do we reopen the closed tab? So take for example, you are here, say you want to reopen the closed tab. So in order to reopen closed tab, you're going to do a right click and then you're going to reopen the closed tab. So I'm opening like this and then come here, reopen the closed tab. So it's a lot of click, right? So let me close this again. So how do we reopen the closed tab using mouse gesture is left and then up, left and then up left up left up left up see it has opened all the reopened close tab so it is so easy you need not go into the top bar and then click on reopen close tab so this is how you basically uh, open all your pages so let me go back to this pages and let me close it okay so we have seen reopen close tab now Let's open a new tab to so right and then up open a new tab right and up right and up what you would have done you would have clicked here plus and then plus and then plus so instead of that right and then go up right go up so all this gesture you will easily find in uh, the settings area okay so let's try out another thing now if you want to refresh a page so take for example if i go into this page and if i want to refresh this page so you can click over here you can do a basically a manual refresh now other option is right and then down refresh so it will refresh the page so let me go into say one of the page if you see here that if you see just monitor over here it's actually refreshing okay now, it, as it is all caged, so you'll not see that refresh thing, but it is actually getting refreshed. Okay. Now, how do we switch to the left tab? So I'm here. I want to move here. Okay. So let me close all this tab. And let me open another tab. And let me open another tab. So if I want to move from one tab to another, so if I want to move from this tab to the here to the here, then well, how do you do with this is like you take um, up and then left up and then left so up and then left so you move here so if you are here you will move here if you do up and left up and left so up and left will again circulate so it will again go back and then you can move from left to from uh, right to left now another if you want to move the other way around up then right so up and then right so select and then right up and then right and this is how you move from one tab to another in the right direction now uh, there are other things like if you want to close all the tabs so if there are many tabs opened then instead of manually closing each and every tab there is a shortcut to close all the tabs now uh, how do we do that close all the tab is go left and then down so what we have done we have closed all the tabs now the next thing what i want to show you is how do we scroll a long page okay so if you want to scroll to the either to the top or to the bottom so if i want to scroll way to the bottom then there is an there is a shortcut we can say uh, up and then down so up and then down so, so let me show you again up and then down so it is showing me an invalid gesture because you need to properly uh, do a gesture here so if i do like this say up and then down so up and down so it will scroll down now if you are already in the bottom and if you want to scroll up then what you need to do is you're going to go to uh, down and then up so down and up so 
let me show you here down and then up so down and up so it is sh showing me invalid gesture so you may need to uh, properly design it sometimes it will not open correctly uh, so if you see here it is not opening correctly but uh, but there are sometimes you need to try out correctly so uh, again i'll try out down and then up okay so it, it should be a proper triangle other thing what you can do is if you want to close the tab if you want to close say this tab then left and then right so left and then right left and then right like as if we are scribbling something left and then right okay so let me open the tab again and show it to you left and then right sometimes it will give you an invalid gesture but you need to hold the mouse properly you can close the tab see Yep, so it is close tab. And then reopen close tab is uh, again, I, sh I showed you it was left and then up. So there are multiple ways to open reopen close tab. You just do like this. Or there is an, another way, right and then left, right and then left. So like this, you can reopen the close tab. So that's it, folks. Uh, basically, this is how you basically use the mouse gesture within Microsoft Edge. Uh, once you get used to the gestures, then uh, I'm pretty much sure you're going to use it uh, day in, day out. Uh, initially, it is very difficult to start with because you need to remember the direction. But directions are like you can configure it in the setting area. So if you are not satisfied with the left arrow going back, you can make it something else. You can. So many times you want to uh, add to a favorite. So if you make uh, moving left add to favorite, uh, then that particular website will get added to the favorite. Okay, so here if I do like this It will add to favorite and then it will add this value into the favorite. So like this you can configure uh, You can customize your own selection uh, and then make use of mouse gesture. That's it folks This is all about using mouse gesture in Microsoft Edge. Thanks for watching